Howdy folks, welcome back to the Taylor Burks Road of the Show series here on MLB 23 PS5, episode 543? Um, 544 maybe? I don't know. Marlins today. Uh, this is a good chance to put them away. We are 95 and 46, they're 76 and 65. Magic numbers down to three. We win three ep games this episode and we don't have to worry at all about them winning or losing anything. But we do face them today, so let's continue. We actually lose this next one to the Mets. Good day for Bruno. Good day for the bullpen. Just didn't work out the way we didn't get our offense going. No! Did Walter lose a game? No, he didn't. We're good. Walter's still undefeated, but we do lose the series to the Mets. That's awfully unfortunate. No reason to upgrade my base running aggressiveness. Um, we'll see what we got. Against the Marlins, another loss. That's great. <laughs> That's great. All right. So, four straight losses for the Nats, uh, but the magic number is at one for the division. Still have a good lead on the other teams for uh, seeding and stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. But still a little concerning. Don't want to be uh, want to be hot at the right time. Uh, obviously. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Aguero. Let's get into this. Wind of the pitch. Marlins. Andres Aguero leads us off with the first pitch swinging, ground out to Termar Johnson, who's made his return to the lineup in the last few weeks. Well, if anybody's going to get the team back on track, it is certainly Taylor Brooks. 01. Strike one. Or strike two, sorry. This dude's hitting 336. Oh, he doesn't actually play that much, but. Two. And that's well, down it away. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Swing and that ball Hit it hard, but line. right at a guy. Calls it in. It's it an easy good. play for Ernest Rivera, and here is seven. the man of the hour. Turner now. Future Hall of Famer so and a creative player of mine, and Adam Turner. Runs as well. no, and the three. first pitch misses for ball one. Two down here. Yeah, that one is in for a strike. And a 1 1. That one in there across the letters. Turner takes two strikes. He's got that above 300 average still. Oh, <laughs> took a pitch out of the zone. But the ump is on our side here. One inning up and one inning down. Back in Washington, D.C. Now the left fielder. We're all good. Pitch is in there. Perfect pitch, 0-1. A former all-star. He features a two-seam fastball. A that time a miss a from the umpire on the curve. Marlins part. And occasionally uses a cutter. Gund has hit a home run off of us before. This dude has so much pop. Yeah, Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike pop. most of the time. Maybe no contact kind of guy. One, two. He's back there doing a solid job. Swing and One miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So digging in, Albert Lantigua. There's a strike. Second inning here, no score. The next Whoa. offering misses, and the count is one and one. And he grounds one back up the middle. Nice oh, play, ball. and two down. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a well-broken-in glove. To have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball's going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer, no pop back Let's up try. to the feet, and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. That's fouled off again. So, Benito Chavez, former teammate of Taylor's, hitting a astounding 322 this year. Looks like he's gotten even better. Yeah, he's had a great year. Good for Benito. Still an 81, but his four years in the league have been productive and pretty solid. And so 1-2 to Chavez. And a pitch. 
This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You could well get a pause on that thought as that. Mm. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Neil Weinstein. <sighs> Weinstein measures five I had a guy. <laughs> so I play other games on the channel. Um, some games not sports related. Great fun. Great fun. Some games that are not sports related. Um, mainly bigger RPGs. Go two first. Oh, and he pulled them off. That's an E4. Take time. Trouble here. Maybe I should hold this thought. Eh. I play other games on the channel. I played uh, mostly open world RPGs. That's not true. I play a, an assortment of different kinds of games, but one of them was an open world RPG, The Witcher 3. <laughs> and I uploaded this, that series was almost a year ago, and I uploaded this one video 258 days ago. And then this guy comes in my comments, and he's like, tell me all this about what I should have done and how he's way better than me. I was like, Play your own game, man. <laughs> nah, really. Not really. That's it was funny. But I think about pitching in this series as I as I walk the bases with him. So many people would comment on my Alex Parker series, my hitting shortstop, and I hit on directional for realism, and people would comment like how bad I am and like whatever. You don't see any comments on this. All you see is disclaim claims trying to disprove. Oh, this is bad news. Four. 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 This has been maybe the most unfortunate inning. We had a bunt. We had an air. We had a walk. And we had the weakest single you've ever seen. A strike anyway. Swing. Now a look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Runners are at the corners. One away. The next pitch misses. I'm struggling, I guess. I don't know. And there's ball four. Alright, Blue. I He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence. Blue is making it quite difficult for me to actually do anything. In the box now, take strike one. That's in there, and it's 0-2. I think ultimately you want to chase it at him. Right at Corey, lucky. Well, baseball can be cool, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Gun in the box now. Take strike one. Tough situation right here. It's so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Popped up, and Guardado is there. Caught. He's got it, and that is that. So they get one, but it... Offense is putting up hits. Back Can't get anything ball going, ball. though. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now the first baseman, Albert Lantigua. That's in there. It's 0-1. Oh, hey, we got Noah. Swings through that. You know, these Marlins do the great job. All right, come on now. That's my pulse again. I threw right down the pipe, but Cordado the is there. Fires across the diamond. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. No. Chavez takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. A lot of patience out of the Marlins here Stalker in the last couple innings. In for a strike. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. That's Ball. off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. 
Next offering is fouled back. Backdoor right cutter. Deals. Stays Good alive. pitch. It's fouled off. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. And up next for oh, Miami, Neil Weinstein. Reached on an infield Ooh. single his first time. Weinstein. <laughs> That's in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Oh, and he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Go get it, Neil. He started it off last time with a bunt. That one is absolutely <laughs> belted. Way back there. <laughs> they went and got it. out of here. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. Oh, he left down. it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage it's with. It's not Taylor's and that's exactly day. What he Clearly. Did. Next Ball, offering go. is down low. Brooks. Maybe a little less no aggressive strike. on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out and feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit. And they start trying this puts, to if we can win today somehow, pitch, this puts not trusting their stuff. the uh, Marlins out of contention for the division. Well, he's been good for the oh, most God. part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I like it. <laughs> ah, Finally, it man. Goodness gracious. Easy. Need a couple. We're going to get one there with a Perez double. New inning getting started. And at the play for Miami, Omar Navarro. Well, we'll take that. In for a strike. And it's 0-1. Oh, Next it's fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. And that's in the Let's dirt. Do. That's Ball. inside. Two balls, two strikes. Did you swing the bat, bro? Yeah, hitter waits. Spoils <sighs> that one, and it remains <sighs> two and two. Ah! The pitch. Three, two it's now. a tough day. It's just a tough day, apparently. Can't get these Marlins out. That's Knocks fell that off away, again. And we'll do it again. You're always having a tough time getting to pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident. What do I throw? I don't know. Cutter. Oh, there we go. 99. And that's the strikeout looking. Fastball to letters. Frozen for strike three. Can't glove it cleanly. First, he recovered. Good he recovered. He's fine. With it there for the second out. Roger Navarro, the next up for the Marlins. And first offering is fouled off. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. All over that one right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Turner in the box again. Takes the strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him. Turner has gotten into an 0-2 hole every time. Now that's strike three. And the he's 0 for 3. Painter's a good pitcher. Here's the left fielder, and a Neville possible, a, a potential future Hall of Famer in this series, actually. I mean, believe it or not, we'll see it in our time here. And when I say we'll see it in our time here, we're retiring at one point, and certain players that are young and Hall of Fame hopefuls we won't get to see. It's been nice having, like, Adam and Cam. You know, like, we're in year 15. Like, they're still kicking up. They're still playing at a high level. It's really nice to see. Runs it up to One down. To the punch out. Him off by I don't see 
but they did a really nice job of setting that pitch like up. Max, the plan of attack early on was to keep the other two pitches uh, chance is so definitely down and out but Max Hamilton is still kind of kicking it in the bullpen over there in a and those one side and then so Parker to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Alex Parker the shortstop actually really never got drop off and we know to the MVP level that everyone else did in this series. He was good. He was really good. He was the best shortstop in the league at one point. But I don't know. But Cam Jackson, the catcher for the A's. And then Adam Turner, who's the center fielder here for the Marlins. Formerly with the Rays and the uh, Rays and, uh, really good take, or Rays and Astros. He is still really good. And, it's even up. and both of them are my for sure. They're making the Hall of Fame. Like I, There's no doubt in my mind. And they deserve it. Adam's got a good chance at 3,000 career hits. So. The runner at first with one gone to the inning. Swing and he breaks his back. Makes the Needed that. And there's two out. Weinstein has been the bane of our existence. He's in there and it's on He has scored twice. He's hit a home run. He's two for two. That one missing inside. And a pitch. Swings and misses. One ball. Gonna count one and two. Good pitch, and the sixth. And that's that. One hit, one left. Can't get another one in. Top of inning number seven. And now for the Marlins. It's probably it for Taylor. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. All right, that's us go. Next offering upstairs. There's a strike. The one two. Yeah, I'm a sick change up here. Nice. One down. Omar Navarro getting ready to hit. A strikeout and a walk. Popped up. And an easy play for Ernest Rivera. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. And that one fouled off. And it's one and one. Let's get us out of here. Swings through that. Seven innings of two run ball is not bad, obviously. It's a two five seven ERA, but it's not quite Next offering misses. Up to the and standards of what Taylor two. usually can throw. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one. Offense doesn't have it again today. Need just one. And we're not going to get it there. Get the 7 8 9 new up. Or the 8 9 1. That'll do it. Taylor's going to get another loss this year. And we get swept by the Marlins. Oof. What a bad episode. 0 and 5. So. That's not good. Anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. That's it. For me, that's Taylor Brooks episode 544 in the books.